Are you trying to overlay a drawing on your camera preview using the Camera 2 API? It can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. Today, we're going to walk through how to add a transparent overlay and draw shapes on your camera preview. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to implement a feature and it just doesn't work as expected. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with camera overlays. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked how to overlay a rectangle on the camera preview using the Camera 2 API and Texture View. They provided some code, but need help integrating it into their project. Sound familiar? Let's dive in. To understand the issue, we need to look at how the Camera 2 API works with Texture View. The Texture View allows us to display the camera feed, but adding overlays requires some additional steps. Let's break it down and stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a working overlay and a better understanding of how to manipulate the camera preview. Plus, I've got a bonus tip for you. To begin, the user needs to modify the layout XML file to include the new transparent overlay. This will allow the custom view class to be displayed on top of the camera preview. Next, the user should ensure that the custom view is properly initialized in the camera to basic fragment class. This involves finding the custom view by its ID and setting it up. Now the user needs to ensure that the custom view is drawn correctly. This involves overriding the onDraw method to include the drawing logic for the rectangle or circle. Finally, the user should test the application to see if the overlay appears correctly on the camera preview. They can do this by running the app on a device. Fun fact, did you know that the first camera phone was released in 2000? It had a resolution of just 0.11 megapixels. We've come a long way since then. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests adding a linear layout to your fragment layout. This layout will contain both the auto-fit texture view and the frame layout. Then, in the onCreateView method, inflate the layout and add the custom view to the linear layout. Here's the bonus tip. Always remember to handle touch events properly in your custom view class to ensure that your overlays respond accurately to user interactions. And there you have it. You should now be able to overlay shapes on your camera preview. Keep experimenting with your code and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on Android development.